Welcome to the next lecture. Today we're gonna add some more features to our REST client. And actually we're gonna produce and consume at the same time um, the um, multi-part data. So I added spe specific dependency to our project uh, or GBoss REST Easy, REST Easy multi-part provider. Just add this line to your code and um, uh, you'll get all the features that you need. So now um, let's create a new data object called multi-part file. Well, actually let's name it multi-part body. Let's make it like this. So this will have um, two objects actually that I need to. So you need to specify um, that it's a form param in our case, and it's called in our case uh, file. Let's name it file. Right, and then part part type uh, should be media type um, ah media type um, with a core octet stream type actually right yeah or or is it octet stream so the object uh, would be private uh, input stream in our case input stream. Mm, file let's name it file right and then the second one form param um, file name let's name it or actually just a name whatever and part type will be media type um, text plane I think will work and then private uh, string name right like this okay let's create a getter and setter let's create an empty constructor here like oops like this right so now we have this thing yeah let's first the creative i don't know post method right uh, post method that will consume media type form application form data we're interested in this and produces let's say it produces i don't know text um media type text plane right public and then um, string we output um, echo file right let's name it we echo in the form data that we actually sent right and um, um, so we have a multi-part form and it's called multi in our case multi-part body body like this right so this will be a body in our case even though we have an annotation so let's actually make it to output a string. Uh, actually, uh, let's make it like this. Let's make it like string body. And let's just return the body, right? Like even like this. So this will be our echo file object. Now we're interested, let's make a bootstrapper that will uh, call our code if we need to. Um, the, in our currency, uh, in our currency service let's create another object called get actually post um, so it will produce uh, consumes media type multi-part from data so actually consuming our own api in our case right and produces it will produce the uh, media type text plane right like this so now um, to output string mm, send file let's name it like this multi-part form like this multi-part body body like this so now we have um, our api and let's actually change our api to localhost for now 8080 like this, the single singleton stays the same. So the path will be echo. And um, yeah, it's there. So now, last thing that we want to, to do is create a bootstrapper. I'll name it like this because we have a currency service. Um, let's name it. Um, public string whatever 
um, call echo like this. And so what we'll do in this case is to consume our currency service send file. Let's create a new multipart multipart body where the multipart uh, set file. Let's uh, let's um, um, hello world get bytes and then we can um, new byte input string um, byte array input stream this will work and then we have a bytes here like this and then the name of the file will be part set, set name will be hello text uh, like this right so this will be a fake file but whatever and uh, so we can put a multipart body here and let's um, return what we have produces a media type text plane right like this so we'll return our produced data right like this um, so we actually can let me see if it's working right now it's working correctly let's uh, we actually edit some more libraries here so let's restart when you add libraries it will be better to restart just in case if uh, something is really dynamic or, um, or static um, so now let's actually check if our echo service is working so echo let's name it echo echo post in our case when we go to post mm, yeah let's remove the crypto for now we don't need it Okay, so now if we go to Postman Echo, um, and we don't have a file, right? Okay, so we need to get the form data key. Um, so key will be um, file, and uh, actually, let me. Okay, yeah. So it's the file, and then I'll, I'll input something like national alt HTML. I don't know what is it. And the yeah, whatever name will be hello txt, right? Like this. So we're sending the data. Okay. So my issue was that I forgot to change it to post. So now if we call the post method echo, you can see our full form data name file file name national house and uh, some file data so i'll actually make this method post so it will handle our um, currency service and file right because we want to receive a string uh, and let's make a path for it let's say test right like this um, so now we have a multi-part file multi-part body which we input into the currency service. We can make it actually echo service um, send file. So we send in the multi-part form, multi-part body to ourselves actually, to the same service and we receive a text plane in our case, right? So now let's go to the echo test and let's make it post, right? Like this. And you can see that we received our data back. So what just happened, basically? Um, so we called our test endpoint call echo that uses the currency service. We actually can rename it all because we're this doing nothing related to currency at all. But uh, we have a method there called send file. So uh, we created the multi-part body where we input. Uh, we have a uh, input stream this is just the uh, hello world bytes so we get it got the bytes put it into the byte input stream and uh, we get the name hello txt and we use it our rest client to send the file um, which automatically figures out that it's a multi-part form by the annotation and calls our other method uh, which is echo file 
which is on the post of the echo endpoint. And the echo just gets the body of the multipart form and returns it back. And that's basically it. So you can see that it actually formed everything correctly, if you know the, how the multipart files work. So even though we have a, just a, our own object without actually methods and whatever, we have a, just a form that in part type, uh, we actually, it actually configured it uh, in a correct way and it handles everything. So now you know how to handle um, multi-part files, basically form data um, as a client. So when you consume it, basically, um, you also know as a side effect how to produce it via the your own API. Um, yeah, this um, it's actually just the echo, so nothing special here. But you know that you can put a consumes and put here a body and for work. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next.